Well, we're a hiking. Do a 24 kilometer hike today with uh, my dual credit guys. It's a credit to get for college. They're high school students. To get through high school, we take them to college to sort of see the light at the end of the tunnel. So this trip is called trip planning. That's a treat, uh, teach them tree ID and things like that. I'm doing this for eight years. I've been teaching at the college almost 30 years now. I'm doing this for eight years. And uh, you see up in spirits with this, because I know it, it really works. It's really effective. Or I wouldn't do it, because <laughs> the pay's not that great. I don't do things for money anyway, but it's just wearing on me the last couple years. It's not because I'm getting older. Maybe because I'm getting wiser, but not older. But I mean, last time we, they didn't bring sleeping bags. This this year, five out of the ten of them didn't bring rain jackets, even though there's a list and they gotta have the list, whatever's on the list. First week in October, made garbage bag, rain jackets for them. And they're doing the called the slinky, and I told them you can't do the slinky. We got a leader, we got a sweep. Nobody goes past the leader. And because we're about three quarters of the way through, and it's raining, and they're miserable, and they're cranky, and they haven't had their smokes, <laughs> their darts, they're booting it, and that's when something goes wrong. And that's what I'm really upset about. And the whistle, call them back, they start cursing, F and this, F and that. If they can't keep up, that's their problem. It's a leadership course, a leadership course. And they're going off I'm wondering why people can't keep up. This is when accidents happen. So all those administrators out there that are all worried about students out there, wonder how they can protect themselves and all the other good teachers that are trying to get through all this and make sure they get kids out in the woods. <laughs> we just need help. That's what we need. Because these kids need to be out here. If they stay on the streets, they're going to get a lot worse than they are now. I'm blabbing, sorry. There's some really good kids in this group and they're mi missing out on something special because a few self-interest individuals want to get home. <laughs> well, I think it's only three days. The next couple of days I go out on a seven day trip. <laughs> you think I'm gonna ramble on now? You know that happens. All right. It will happen, it will be fine. If not, I got my spot device, got a sat phone, got a flashlight, got safety, SOL, safety blankets. Maybe that will teach them. It's getting dark. <laughs> but uh, I went back to the back um, to catch up on the sweep and uh, we're good. Got one of those SOL uh, ponchos. <laughs> it's, it's getting dark. Someone just hit a tree. <laughs> you alright? Well, it's better than tears. <laughs> uh, SOL poncho uh, got a worm, and uh, yeah, it was good. Put that my pack. You should always have that in your pack. Extra water, some sugar, some protein. I got some of those uh, meat sticks. Okay, <laughs> two minutes up the hill. There's a, a truck riding before. <laughs> it's getting darker, Amy. Oh, we made it. Oh, there's lots of trucks. I think they've been looking for us. She's a little happy. <laughs> More than a little happy. <laughs> He's like cheering for you.